Hello, Akron fans, and welcome to this replay cast. I'm Shadow 33 and this match is between God and Kron Emmerich. God is in the top right corner. He is currently playing Vekir, and Kron Emmerich is playing Grekim as usual in the bottom left corner. So God is a player we have not seen in a while. He was an active player before, but he stopped playing for a while and recently came back. Though I haven't seen him super recently, but he did play a few games after the last patch, and we'll see what he came up with in the short time he was playing for, well, he might be back, we'll see. But he was playing there, and in that time, we'll see what he came up with, because this, I've heard, is a fairly interesting game. God, it's a fairly interesting strategy coming up, so I'm really curious to see what goes on. Kron on the other hand, of course, is a very regular player. He's also one of our more prominent modders. So he is someone we've seen several times on this cast, and probably get a good idea what he's going to do. Probably going to make his standard reef bubble wrap, and, well, of course, the basic economy, get that set up and make reefs, then make air units as soon as he can, and work from there. It's usually how he sets up. Go on the other hand, like I said, I'm not sure what he's going to do. He is going for a very quick 2RP strategy, not going for any more from the looks of it. He is... I'm not sure if he's delaying, or if he is actually trying to do something quick with his economy. Yes, he is. No, he seems to be sticking with the 2RPs. Keep an eye on that one, because normally players will go for 3 or 4RPs, since that's what you can afford right off the bat. Well, three RPs right off the bat, and then a fourth soon after. Karnat, on the other hand, is doing the standard economy build, so nothing out of the ordinary there. God is also sending one of his, his Tet Beer, he's sending that over to scout out. Actually, sending it to scouting out from the north, while sending his Shin Beer scouting along from the south. You can see further in the future that they are both attacking. Nothing special, this is normal. And God wants to get in his base, he is not. I'm a little bit confused is what he's planning on doing. I think he's just trying to scout out to see what he can do, see if Carnivore's going for a rush strategy, or like go, trying to go for an all-in, or if he's going for an economy strategy, and he's certainly going for an economy strategy. So now that God has seen that, now we'll see what he has to respond to it, jumping back about three minutes, and he is building a very early foundation, extremely early foundation. Probably gonna go for an early depot. Yes, that's exactly, he's going for an early depot, and then probably gonna go for very quick Zion Pulsers. And this is a strategy that, I. Well, sort of developed against him a bit. I played against him a couple times, and I'm curious what he's done to develop it beyond that. I wasn't sure if he was going to go for that or what he was exactly doing, but yes, he is going for that early Zion Pulse service. He's on Cryabra, is not really prepared for this. He has one Reef Up, which will help, but in order to fend off Zion Pulsers, he's going to need quite a few units just on the offensive. He does have a couple Octos already. That's not going to be quite enough, but... Well, see, the thing is, the Zion Pulsar would be coming in about now-ish. I'm actually surprised. God seems to be taking a bit longer. The way, So the way I do it is I will take this Zion Pulsar here and turn that into a Zion... Sorry, a Zion Veer here, turn it into a Zion Pulsar. It looks like God is waiting until he gets enough LC to build a Zion Pulsar. Yep, straight out of the depot, without sacrificing the Zion Veer right here. So it's a bit slower to get, because it requires more resources and requires that you actually wait longer, because Zion Pulsars take longer to build if they're built from the depot directly. They... When you build with infantry, it actually offsets the build time and cost of the infantry on the cost of the vehicle. So the vehicle ends up taking much less time to build and much less LC. Well, the, co the LC cost of the infantry is subtracted. So this is a bit of a slower rush, but he's also keeping one his Zion Veer up, so he can switch to economy a bit faster than if he was using the Zion Veer to turn to a Zion Pulsar. So we see the Zion Pulsar is coming along. Cryhammer is fending off the infantry just fine, but it will be coming in hitting those two Octos and an Octopod. Now, this is the key unit. This is what Crown Aberrant needs. With that, he will be able to fend off the Zion Pulsar, but the Zion Pulsar we see is only coming from God's point of view. Well, God's point of view around a minute before the present. We're at about a minute from the start of the game, and this is not going to be very useful from a point of view. But So God is double-checking when his attack started. And it looks like he is not... Well, he doesn't have his mind to switch to economy yet. Now, back when he could switch to economy, he is not, actually, surprisingly enough. He's not building another RP. That's rather odd. He is, his Zion Pulsar is getting in. The Octopod will be up in time to fend it off, so I don't think that fight will go in God's favor. Like I said, a bit of a slower rush, but I'm a bit surprised he hasn't built another LC RP. He, when he has the resources. He's jumping back. He's jumped back a few minutes, but jumping up to the four minute mark again. The Zion Pulsar has started to hit. The Octopod hasn't been sent to defend for Kron Aberrant yet, but I'm sure Kron Aberrant is just waiting on that one. It is, however, attacking one of the reefs that's forming that bubble wrap I mentioned earlier. And where is that? Oct oh, the Octopod is going straight up, straight for an attack on 
God's base. Not a bad idea, actually. God isn't defending his base very well, but he's also got plenty of cash to actually build up defenses if he needs to. So, God jumping back. 318 mark. Chronometer as well. They're both hanging around the 3 minute mark or so. Which is kind of odd because not much is happening, actually. This Octopod, like I said, is key for defense. It Octopods are great against defending against Iron Pulsers. They will take them out one-on-one. -on -one. If you have just one of each, the Octopod will win every time. The only way the Zion Pulsar can win is by running away. God, however, like I said, he's not building any RP, he's not building any defenses. I'm a little bit curious what his plan is. I think he is... Okay, he's not a Zion... Okay, he is building... No, Foundation! There we go. Okay, that's a, that's a Shinveer icon. Foundation is being built. This will help out. This is actually going to... This could turn the tide in favor of the Zion Pulsar, though I still think the timing wasn't great. still think it could have been faster. If he wasn't planning on converting to economy, should have used that Zion Beer. Or should just shift back these RPs to QP and then use Zion Beer again. If he's going to go for it all in with two Zion Pulsars, that would be very hard to defeat Kron Amrit right now. So, as we can see, God is attacking with Zion Pulsar. Back to the 352 mark, so this is what's actually happening. The infantry are, like I said, out of the way, building up, and now both players are synced up at the 358 mark, and we see the Zion Pulsar going for the found, going for the Arctic is not a great idea. Seppi coming in to try to defend. The Octopod here is the key unit and is still building up at this point. Oh, we actually jumped back a few seconds. Never mind. It's building up 20 seconds from now. But still, I'm not sure why... Ah, here we go. Now it's attacking the useful targets. Yes, one of the Seppis is going down. Wouldn't have been very useful anyway. The Octopod is the unit that needs to be up. The Seppis were not bad decoys, and the Octopod is almost up from the looks of it. Carnivore... Oh, Carnivore is actually slightly ahead of where God is right now, so... God's point of view is a bit more valid, but that Octopod is, well, it's dead. Wow. Okay, so foundations apparently work pretty well in here. Still, surprised he didn't really go for the all-in or didn't switch to economy. Foundations are a good idea, though. I'll have to keep that in mind for my own games, but it's... Hmm. Yeah, the timing still seemed a little bit later than it could have been. God could have attacked sooner with this, though Chronomart is... I'm not sure what he can do from here, really. The Octopod is his only choice, and he didn't have any QP to build up to defend against it. Though he did have a bit more QP stockpile by this point, he would have easily been able to have two Octopods, which would have been enough to deal with the Zion Pulsar. Still, it's interesting to see. So, Kronhammer, surrendering. Very quick game. That was a total rush game. So, hope you enjoyed that. We will have more games in a couple minutes, so stay tuned.